Welcome back to ah! <laughs> Beyond Rude. Good and Evil. Where nobody can drive. I'm Slider, and as always, I'm joined by Manga. Hiya. So before we start the episode proper, cool thing to show off. I probably should have edited this a bit better, but uh, too late for that. Basically, if you s stay still in this part of town at long enough, this music starts playing. That's groovy. He has... Unique. I love this weird alien music. I say I couldn't tell if he was actually singing in English or like Simlish. I kind of like how this place is a like low-key overworld day-night cycle too. Yeah. It's something I kind of enjoy. It's something I really enjoyed about Ocarina of Time as well. I remember. But it's it's not running on any real time schedule. It just casually cycles between. You know, day and night, and it makes the sunrise and sunsets real pretty. Yes, it does. Had a nice day. This time we're just jumping around. We have to go way over here. Got a new all the way across the map. Ooh, cool. Ooh, pretty. Flying manta ray. No one is safe. See how close I can get to it. It's really pretty there. Yes. Is it warning you or the manta ray? <laughs> Maybe both. And the ray's just like, fine, man. Jeez, I was just gonna go visit my friend. Gotta stay in the waters. Anyway, if we go right around here, I believe. Find some boxes. And over here, there's this little island. Okay, random little island paradise. Looter's Cavern 3, of course. So I found the fourth one before, but couldn't find the three until now. So here we are, proper order. Now to chase them. All things considered, they relatively didn't steal very much of your cash at all. <laughs> I guess not. They're not very good at this. No! They're kind of shit. And it has the same rules as always. I have limited time to go through these doors. I love how much Double H gets into it. He is having the time of his life. I mean, you are having a hovercraft chase. That is pretty cool. It's a bumpy ride! Hey, more walls for you to bump into. And here we go. Let's go this stupid idiot. Run and go back all your money, probably everybody else's money. And a pearl! Is there at this stage of the game, is there anything you can do that will not yield a pearl? Um Blinking. Maybe. Well, when you close your eyes and open them again, somehow there are more pearls. <laughs> it's like magic. I just keep... I breed like tribbles. Yeah. 
more races. Yes, more races, because we never did race four. True. I wonder what the prize will be. A giant lobster. <laughs> Plot We're twist, they're the new currency. Forth, Jade. They don't <laughs> look overly friendly. They don't look very friendly, as I'm the one shooting everyone. Yeah. No one else has shot you. I, like it. I just assume everyone is an asshole when I'm the one being an asshole. Like, you treat everyone like asshole because you're assuming they're all assholes, but maybe you're the asshole. Yes. But who was asshole? And then John was an asshole. Got to you were the asshole the whole time. Ooh. Anyway, yes, it's just another course. Lots of boosts and whatnot. Lots of weird terrain. It is versatile. It can go through all this terrain and then back into water, no problem. Why do they keep calling you the little rookie when you keep winning all of these? I don't know! Also, seriously, what the shit leaves a spine that big? Bunch of losers. All losers, Miss Jane. Well, on what page of Carlson and Peters does it say that? <laughs> That's a weird page. Oh god, no, 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 no. Are you bumping into things again? The important thing is, you won. Where's the free stuff? Hooray! Forty-five pearls. Well, and some cash. Yes. And that's all we can do with the hovercraft races. You're all raced out. I suppose so. Maybe she's about to save in the world. Oh, oh I, wanted, I wanted to jump over at high speed and it failed. You tried. Anyway, let's head back home. Time to find us a spaceship. So if you notice near the disc reader, there's a radio that looks just like the one at the Iris Network. Hey, foreshadowing. Anyway, while we're here, let's skim through this little thing again. Jade, you inherited generosity and courage from your parents. You know, I think about them a lot. Twenty, but the boring still exists. <laughs> but I, the I can't say any more on this M disc about it. No matter what happens. <laughs> yeah, no yeah, matter what happens. Enough of the feelings and shit. Where's the spaceship? <laughs> exactly. So fun fact: I believe you have to play that ad again while Double H is here, and then Double H will have this little bit of dialogue.
And he says, if only we had the shoes. If only. You have any idea? The secret's in the shoes, darling. See, they see this board? If we push it, there's a secret computer behind it. Damn. To make things even more crazy, remember the shoes we got from the factory? Paige's shoes? Hey. Well, if you look under them... Secret codes painted on his shoes. Yes. Because that is a totally secure place to paint secret codes. It is now. <laughs> Seems to be working. I mean, that is pretty cool that all these little elements from, like, a little while ago that you could have checked, like, hours and hours before are actually relevant to this. You had the clues the whole time! Good theory. Yeah, so we have to find another one of those. I thought it would be hilarious if you turn over his shoes and it just has Andy painted on the bottom. <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. Yep. Just in case you missed it. Exactly. They give you the creepy child to tell you how to solve the game. Yes. So none of them have really anything new to say. He's gonna casually run over a child. <laughs> As you do. Out of the way, small people! Now, as for where's the secret? Where are you, secret board? Yeah, where are you? Oh, there you are. Secret board. Ooh, that one's got shoes. A six B seven Hooray What did we do? I don't know, but it played some awesome music. So probably something. Perfect, Miss Jade. Now we can go open the door in the hangar. I'll take your word for it. Okay, so let's let's go through here. And now there's a red button that's appeared. Oh, you gotta push the red button. Holy shit. from me for the past 20 years. My pig can keep a secret. Trying to protect you. That's what they all say. And he did a fine job of that, didn't he? He didn't do a good job of protecting himself. Let's try right in it. Uh... That thing booted up fast. Uh. What? I can't control it. If we want to get off the ground, we're gonna need one flight stabilizer for each reactor. Hmm, where are we gonna get a flight stabilizer? 
Hmm. Where have we heard about that? Here. Thank you, Miss Jane. While we're here, might as well t uh, check out that disc we just got. A new CD to check out. The Beluga Overhaul Checkup. Flight stabilizers missing, so not okay. Octo combustions. <laughs> this just sounds like exploding octopi. He doesn't like the people at Malagos, does he? <laughs> no. So yeah, that gives you a good idea of what you need. Two mama goes. Hey, we're here to buy from you crooks at- I, I mean you folks at mama goes. Why'd you call us? I didn't say it, Paige did! Where the hell is that asshole? On the moon? I suppose he can call people whatever he wants if he's on the moon. <laughs> yes. Moon insults. Head into Mama Goes. When Mama won't go, better call Mama Go. <laughs> what does that even mean? I I don't know. Yeah, same thing as always. And of course, the third brother left for the town before. There's only the two of them. Standing here selling your shit for pearls. It would have been really funny if they were... I, I, I mean, they clearly want Paige to be unique, but if they were pigs instead of rhinos... You'd be paying with pearls before swine. Okay. The repair pod <laughs> stores one wrench of your vehicles. Account identification. Okay. A set of pods completely a set of pods completely restores your vehicle's energy. <laughs> Thank you. We a get it. Capsule temporarily triples your maximum speed. Thank you. I know that said 30 pearls through there, but I misread it as so pearls, and I'm like, yeah, so pearls. Such shiny. Much money. It's only for spaceships, though. Hope you have one of those! If you just happen to have one, like, in your basement or something for 20 years. You know, something like that. I doubt you have anything like that. Some weird scenario okay, like that. For you. Stabilizes and it spins. So you're actually still five pearls short? And even after the shit ton of pearls the game's been throwing at you, you're still five short for the other part you need. Yep. Bloody hell. Restores one wrench of your vehicle's energy. Uh, Starkos restores one heart of your energy. You really do not run out of money in this game, do you? No. Starkos restores one heart of your energy. Anyway. 
Some more happy Jamaican music. To make you feel better about everything. Yep. They know we're gonna come back for more. You'll be back. Anyway... Yeah. Why are you gonna get five more pearls? Now let's go back and... Uh... Oh! Shit! Oh dear. What the shit? Go, 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 go. This is no longer a chilling groovy day. This is not chill, yo. Faster, Miss Jade. The door's closed. What's been going on around here? Where's the heartwarming orphans? Run, run, run. This is legitimately tense and heartbreaking. There's no one around. Poor Wolf. I know how you are. You tried to help them. You told yourself that you wouldn't let them come to any harm. That you'd be there to protect them. I know, boy. But that isn't what actually happened. The kids are gone. And you... You couldn't do anything. You're, you're here. Alive and well. Who do you think you are? Did you think you'd actually be able to make a difference? Well, Wolf, you were wrong, boy. Completely and utterly wrong. There's nothing anyone can do. There's nothing anyone can do. We must go now, Miss Jade. It's over, Double H. Finished. They're still alive, Miss Jade. Paige, the kids, they're all still alive. That was an intense scene. Y yeah. Somber way to end this. I want to give her a hug now. I'm glad the dog was there to do it. Even if she did talk shit to him. <laughs> I mean, she was all she was obviously talking shit to herself. But he's a dog. He can't know that. <laughs> yeah, the dog. He didn't even understand. <laughs> now he's just sleeping. Yep, it's all destroyed.
Yeah. So yeah, uh... Well, that's cheerful. <laughs> yes, it certainly is. So remember uh, that one scene where she first saw that M-Disc after Paige got captured and I made a joke about how much it utterly failed at being emotional? <laughs> this is kind of the opposite. This is incredibly not failing at being emotional. Yes. Yeah, this is aged really, really well. Scene was great. Done perfectly. Honestly, the fact that they can't do, like, brilliant, varied emotions with the thing actually helped it. Because it gave it this just very straight and somber feel to it. Just like... The voice actress was killing it, too. Yes. It was great. Just everything worked out perfectly. The fact that it came out of nowhere also helps. Just like, yeah, we're just trucking along, building up the stuff we need to- Oh god, they've got the children! It is perfect timing that they make you have to go back to the lighthouse right before that happens. Yeah, just to remind you, hey, look at all these adorable children, just before they all get taken away. <laughs> exactly. The other thing's interesting is that, like, before at the end of the that uh, chase mission with the Stargate, or whatever, uh, the guy who was chasing you at the end says that you were gonna, they were going to follow you to find a bigger prize. And you would think that meant the Iris Network, but no. They followed you and found the children. Oh, shit. It's kind of interesting, because you would think you would do that first, but in theory you can actually do that that mission after the children get kidnapped, so it kind of ruins it. Just, just a little bit. But it's cool to put, like, little bits of story into, like, the optional missions. Yeah. So now at this point, we have to save Paige and children. Just in case you stop caring about Paige because he's been missing for so long. <laughs> yes. And that means after this, we're going to be doing more side stuff. <laughs> Naturally. Of course. We need five more pearls, damn it. Well, there's that. <laughs>